Hello, it's Adam here, and we're having a first look at Buildings HD by Orbex. So, we're having a look at Buildings HD from Warbex, and we're in Birmingham at the moment. We're going to take off from three airports, this one, London City, and then Rio. We've got the specs up in the corner so we can keep track of the performance uh, with the frames. And at the moment, we are sitting in default um, buildings, sort of what P3D have already given us with uh, Global. Um, I have not yet installed the buildings HD. So these buildings in the background are what we find um, with, we're going to call them default, okay? So uh, have a look around. Let's just uh, zoom in to these uh, trees here because I do want to see if there is a massive difference. Now, you can tell these ones um, are kind of blurry, you know, a um, bit pixelated. Um, but generally, they, they actually look quite good. Um, you, you really, from a distance, couldn't uh, tell uh, any difference. Uh, and at currently, I've got my settings set at 2K. So, let's hop into the plane, and we're going to take off. Now, what does Buildings HD actually do? What changes can you expect to see? Well, you get a user guide when you buy the product. And it says, Buildings HD is a replacement for the textures and models of Autogen buildings in P3D and FSX. Autogen buildings make up the vast majority of 3D buildings seen throughout the flight sim world and are designed to populate the ground textures with buildings that look believable and realistic. Buildings HD updates the old textures typically at 1K resolution with new textures at 4K resolution based on real-world photos for a detailed and realistic appearance. Buildings HD also replaces the Autogen BGL object library with an all-new version featuring more detailed Autogen buildings such as water towers, gas stations, factories, farm buildings, etc. etc that complement and add detail to the Autogen environment. So we're just going to head towards the city of Birmingham so we can get a look at these sort of default buildings. Now it does also state there are certain buildings that it won't improve and there are certain buildings that it will improve. Uh, buildings HD will not change the appearance of airport buildings or custom made scenery objects. Some custom-made scenery objects are included in default installations of FSX and PA3D, famous landmarks such as the Eiffel Tower, Empire State Building, uh, several of the tallest buildings in the major cities around the world, and third-party sceneries, which often make use of heavy use of custom scenery objects. Uh, in either case, both of these, wherever custom scenery objects are used, they will not be modified by Buildings HD. So if we just zoom in and look at these buildings now, this is what the kind of default at the moment uh, is already given us, um, which I think are pretty acceptable. Um, they, they, they do kind of um, duplicate themselves, but they and they are a little pixelated when you zoom right into them. But when you're flying past them, I think they do a fine job. Now these are evidently are 1K textures, which I'm running my sim 2K, which means these are getting upscaled. So we're going to head to the city, and we're going to find out now. In the document, in the user guide, it also states what the buildings uh, will upgrade. And buildings HD will upgrade your Autogen buildings in the default FSX P3D library, in the Orbex Global and the Global Ranger products, including Vector and Open Land Class, as well as your regions, all of them, including Australia version 2, but not for Germany South and Germany North. Um, it also will change the textures for the Orbex airports, which are houses and small buildings in the surrounding area. 
and uh, any third party sceneries that use the default Autogen buildings, uh, the default library. But the ones that it won't touch are the True Earth regions. None of them buildings will get replaced or the textures replaced. Uh, Germany North and Germany South, as I mentioned before, and the Orbeg cityscapes, as well as uh, Dres Wiki design cities and other similar city add-ons. They won't get touched. Now, Orbex recommend that you change your texture resolution setting to 4K to really see the difference um, in the buildings. And if you're running FSX, you will have to change it via the config file because it's locked to uh, 2048, I believe. Um, so you, you will have to change it to 4096 in the config file. Um, and then, of course, you've got your quick reference simulator settings, which I will post in the description box below. So, this is pretty much Birmingham. And in a moment, we're going to head over to uh, London City and see what that looks like. But, I mean, I think the, the buildings here are okay. Obviously, ground textures are a little bit blurry, but I think these are okay. I don't think much can really be improved on. I mean, I'm very interested to see a difference. Um, so, in a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the night time um, for Birmingham. And we're going to see what the night lighting looks like in Birmingham. Because uh, one thing with the Orbex Buildings HD is you get night lighting baked in or built in to the textures which we didn't have before so I'm just gonna quickly uh, head out and then come back towards the city and then we'll night we'll time preview it to night time and we'll see what the city looks like at night um, when you get your uh, user guide it comes with a nice little note from orbex saying thank you orbex would like to thank you for purchasing global buildings hd a monumental project three years in the making buildings hd overhauls the default autogen buildings in p3d and fsx to provide you with a breathtaking breathtaking realistic new flying experience across the globe right so let's see what it looks like at night time Wait for the lighting to kick in. Um, this is Birmingham by night time then. Just your basic street lights. You can't really distinguish the buildings. They're kind of lost within the lighting. But um, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty good. Um, the night lighting here, I believe, is black marble. Um, but uh, I think, yeah... You can see the Aston Villa, oh, is that the blues? I don't know. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Frames are holding steady, 50-ish. Um, by dawn, very nice. Right, so that's that. Let's now head out to London City. Right, so here we are, London City. Um, in London City, I think the frames are gonna take a bit of a hit because we're in a major city, so uh, forgive me for that, but we're getting decent enough frames. Um, the airport there, London City, is Rex Airport HD. Now, in terms of weather, I'm using a preset from Orbex. I'm not injecting any type of weather. I wanted to clear the skies so we could see all the buildings clearly. And as you can see in the distance there, some lovely buildings from Orbex. This is, I imagine, what Global um, Orbex gave us. The textures there, a little bit blurry. Um, but the rooftops are okay. Um, I, I don't see a problem with any of them. So, anyway, let's go fly over London and let's see what they look like within the city. Um, one thing Orbex claims is that the development team overhauled over 900 texture sheets 
containing 3,860 individual buildings and created over 400 new 3D modeling buildings from scratch to create a realistic, detailed, and varied rendition of the world structures. Uh, during the whole project development, lead uh, developer Scott Armstrong traveled to over a dozen countries throughout the Americas, Europe, and Asia to take on location source photos to ensure accurate regional variations and incredibly crisp new textures from New York to Singapore, London to Cape Town, Buena Aires to Moscow. Urban environments around the world will take on a new look of life and authenticity. So, let's follow the Thames up and we shall see. So, um, my slider settings um, are on low for the draw distance. For the scenery complexity, I've maxed it up to full throttle. And for the vegetation and the buildings, I believe it's on dense. So, um, and I'm using a PTA preset from R&D, the 1.8. Um, I mean, these buildings look fine. I don't see anything wrong with them. But it's the buildings in the city, which should be interesting to look at. So these evidently are all 1K textured. So let's zoom into them and let's see. There's the O2 Arena. What else do we see? I can see some apartment buildings which are repeated. Them three buildings there, I'm pretty sure we're in Birmingham. Um, what else do we see? I can just about make out Tower Bridge in the distance. And I think... Is that Big Ben, I believe? Yep. Um, I mean, they're, they look okay. There's a factory there. Uh, what do these houses look like? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, they look fine, to be honest. Uh, high rises, like medium high rises. Um, quite varied. And these are the ones from Orbex, but these are not buildings HD. So, um, if you're using default textures, you're even worse off because your default textures are only 512 by 512. Um, if you're using global base, you've got 1K textures in your sim. And um, of course, what Buildings HD will do is upscale everything to 4K. I'm not running a 4K monitor myself, so I probably won't see that much of a difference when we go to install. I've only got a 1080p monitor. So to be honest, I probably won't notice that much of a difference. I imagine the people who will notice difference is the people with 4K monitors. Um, because I don't even run 4K textures. So let's check out these buildings. Mm, yeah, yeah. Look okay, they look... We've got to remember these, okay? We've got to remember these. So anyway. Let's now take off um, and head to Rio um, around the Jesus the Redeemer, or Christ the Redeemer, sorry, where uh, the buildings are very varied. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are in Rio, our final destination, where the buildings might be slightly different because of the graphical area we're in. This is the airport that's in Rio, the main sort of airport. Uh, some buildings, some skyscrapers. They go off to the distance. All looking very nice. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at the airport buildings a little bit more. So that one looks pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's not as textured as that one. That one is. That one's a little bit blurry. Um, these two are very sharp and detailed. Um, I don't know what that building is there. That's very weird. But other than that, it looks it looks quite good. Right. So let's take this sucker to the air and we shall fly around and we shall also see what it looks like at nighttime. 
Now another thing Orbex says is that the building's HD also includes ambient occlusion shadows on every building to help blend with the terrain. Roof textures are created from high resolution drone photography and expertly crafted uh, new night textures that create an immersive and beautiful flying experience after sundown because it modifies the sim's default autogen buildings which are the standard building type included in FSX and P3D. Buildings HD will work seamlessly with just about every combination of scenery add-ons, modifying the autogen buildings wherever they appear in both default and add-on scenery products. So, we should be taking a flight over our favourite city to see what a difference the HD textures make. Um, and that's pretty much it for what it says in the user guide. Um, Heading over to the website, I shall uh, I shall have a look at that and read out what it states. But um, looking at these buildings, these uh, these ones look a little bit different to the ones we saw in the UK. You can tell, but I mean to be honest, these still look fine. Um, the roofs are a bit flat, a bit dull, uh, but they are actually photo real textures. Um, it's a bit repeated though, <laughs> but they're photoreal textures. Um, the city kind of looks a bit bleh, but um, this is actually Rio default. I haven't got any Rio scenery, so this is what it is. So, right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change, we're going to fly over the city and we're going to see what the night lighting looks like in the buildings. So when we come back here, we can see how Orbex changes that night lighting. So let me just level off here and then I'll go to time preview and we shall have a look. But we seem to get better frames when I pause it. So, looks quite nice. So that's like the perfect time that is to go flying in. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, yes. Right, so there we go. So I'll wait for the night lighting to properly kick in. Um I don't know. It it looks okay. The ground textures you can see them changing. Um But other than that, let's uh let's fly off and let's see let's see if we can go over the city. The lights are okay, you know. I don't really see the buildings lit up, <laughs> you know. I don't see them illuminated. But this would be a nice approach, I think, still. But I imagine it would look a lot different. So, there we go. Right, so I'm going to go away now, and I'm going to install Orbex Buildings HD, and we're going to come back, we're going to go to Birmingham, then we're going to go to London, and we're going to come back to Rio, and we'll see what they look like. And I'm also going to do a special little thing at the end as well, so hang around till then. See you in a mo. Okay, so we've gone away, we've installed the Buildings HD add-on, we're back in Birmingham, and let's have a look at the buildings. So, zoom it in, um, I don't really see any difference there, um, hang on, what's that on the window there? Is that a face? Oh my gosh, look at that, there's someone's face, I wonder who that is. I wonder if that's like a YouTuber or a Twitcher? Oh, developer secrets. I, to be honest, I think I didn't notice that before, so maybe there is a difference. But the textures themselves look the same. Um, the roofs kind of look different. Let's uh, check out these ones down here. I, I don't know, they, they just kind of look the same, to be fair. Um... Yeah, I don't. I, I really don't see a difference here. Um, 
See, that looks a little pixelated, that one. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's take off. Let's go fly over the city, and we'll see. We'll see what's what. So, take this sucker to the air. We'll head over again to the city center and uh, let's go see what it looks like. Buildings from above kind of look the same. Um, I, I do notice there's a few more orange roofs than there were before, um, but they kind of just look the same. I don't really see a difference from this altitude and we're not that high um, let's uh, let's head towards the city let's in fact I tell you what let's just literally get in front of the city so there we are Right, let's have a look now. Um, I can see that they're a little bit sharper, but the models themselves haven't changed. The textures themselves haven't changed that much. I don't remember seeing that type of texture before though. But these flats and the, the smaller buildings, they just got different roofs. Um, I feel. I don't really see a difference in yeah, in the in the text in the textures themselves. The BT tower there looks the same. Um in fact all these buildings look exactly the same as they did before. Maybe I had um buildings HD installed already. I don't know. But I don't re I mean I can see that they're a little bit sharper, but that's it. Um I really honestly thought we were getting different buildings and models um, but I, I think I can zoom in closer to these buildings so maybe there is a difference I don't know anyway this is Birmingham Let's have a small fly around and then we will head over to London. See the buildings on the ground there in the in the suburbs, sort of away from the city. It looks like there's more of them. Um, I don't, by the way, I don't have the regions of the UK installed. I've, ta I've taken them out. I just found them to be too performance heavy, um, and I found that using global, using vector, using the land class and blue and black marble, I didn't really need. Uh, a couple of extra buildings, to be fair, for the regions. Um, right. Yeah. Anyway. Let's head over now to London City. And let's see what we got. London City, um, the, again, the buildings don't look too dissimilar. Um, I mean, there's not going to be a massive difference, really, so let's get this bird in the air. I think the biggest difference we'll see is when we're actually in the, um, the city centre, you know? So, while we fly there, let's have a look at the website. It says here, uh, Buildings HD overhauls the autogen buildings throughout the world with all new 4K regionally accurate textures and frame per second friendly 3D models. What Trees HD did for vegetation, Buildings HD does for your sim structures. It replaces the old default textures and models with beautiful, authentic, highly detailed 
to lend a new depth of realism to the landscape across the globe. Excuse me. Buzzing rooftops, approaches over cities, and taxiing at urban airports have never looked so real. The texture's four times more detailed than before. All new textures feature ambient occlusion shadows, stunning new light lighting, high-res rooftops derived from drone photography, um, and then it goes on to say more of what we, we've already said. Do you know this London city as well? These buildings don't look any different. They look like the same textures, but just maybe in the 4K. I think what I'm going to do for the next one is I'm actually going to go into my sim setting and I'm going to actually activate 4K textures because I've still got 2K textures in my sim. Oh, hello, little box there. <laughs> um, right, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't really see this ambient occlusion that they're talking about. Um, I don't feel that these are 4K textures. Um, you know, I don't see any new buildings that we haven't already seen before we installed it. So, I just, I'm not feeling it, guys. You know, the night time is barely as well. Um, which when we head to Rio, we'll have a look at the night time. Yeah. It does look like there's more buildings though, to be honest. So I do feel flying over here that there's slightly more buildings than there were before. But and they're slightly sharper. But that's it. The textures are literally the same. I Low feel. Altitude. Low altitude. I'm only viewing on 10A monitor, so maybe I'm not seeing as much of a difference because I'm only seeing the 2K texture in the scene. Um, it says here, FS legend Bill Walmack has lent his three modeling skills in completely overhauling, overhauling for over 400 3D models. These models look the same. I don't know if they've just been refined, but these models look all the same. Let's buzz the tower. Right, okay. Time for the final test. We're going to head over to Rio and we're going to see what it looks like in the daytime and we're going to see what it looks like in the nighttime and I'm going to run through the key features again from Orbex. Right, here we are in uh, Rio. Let's have a look at the buildings, the skyscrapers, they look exactly the same. Um, South America Rio, let's have a look here. Yeah, these, these buildings don't look any different to me. Now, uh, what, I've, what I have done and done is I've activated the 4K texture into my sim. Um, my frames seem to have actually gone up, which is weird. But um, these are 4K textures um, being shown, and I've also increased the draw distance as well to medium from low. Um, but I've got to tell you, it all looks the same, but it seems to be performing better. So that's a bit weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off, we're going to circle around, and we're going to come back over the city and have a look at it. The key features from Orbex are high definition building textures at 4K resolution covering the entire world, regionally accurate buildings worldwide derived from on-location photos taken in many different countries throughout the globe, brand new 3D building models for complex autogen objects, ambient occlusion shadows baked onto building textures for added depth and realism, high resolution rooftops derived from drone photos, incredibly realistic night textures for an immersive new night flying experience, designed to work seamlessly with all Orbex products including global, all open land class products, the regions and the airports with or without any other Orbex products installed and it's completely compatible with FSX, FSX Steam Edition and P3D version 1 to 4. Now I gotta mention one thing, 
just prior to this coming out, there was another Buildings HD release by R&D Presets. Um, I haven't personally got them to use, so I can't compare the two, but I did compare the photographs that were released, both for Orbex and for the uh, other uh, release. Now, I did see errors in the R&D presets. The, some of the roofs were misaligned, um, and in Orbex, they were all perfectly aligned. And I really got the sense that Orbex's textures seemed to be a lot sort of more solid, whereas the R&D presets were just another version but did exactly the same thing, but just alternate textures. It wouldn't surprise me if R&D presets perhaps wasn't, you know, were on the beta team for Orbex and had access to this maybe like a couple of months ago and decided, you know what, we can beat them. So they, I mean, I'm not saying anything to this, but it wouldn't surprise me because it's just very strange how both Orbex and these guys release these products nearly back to back and it's just like really does that really happen where it's you guys are working on it in secret both together at the same time and you happen to release it within days of each other to be honest something's not school you know uh, turning the kool-aid there so let's change this to nighttime now and let's see because the buildings right did not have lighting on them when we turned it to nighttime and I'm very interested to see if they do this time. So, that's pretty, oh yes, that's much better. See the buildings, right? Let me just uh, reactivate the sim. Them buildings there, right, um, have actually got lighting on them. Like, the windows are lit. Whereas before, they didn't have that. In fact, that whole region to the right was in darkness a little bit. Um, but now it's lit up because the building's lights are lit up. And it, it does bring it, yeah. The night lighting mainly, I think, for me, is the upgrade for Orbex HD. I can't really say the daytime is an upgrade because it looks pretty much identical during the day. Maybe there's a slight performance increase because they changed the models out. Um, and they look a little bit sharper in the sim because there's 4K textures. But for me, on a 1080 display, using 2K texturing as default, I don't see much of a difference, to be fair. Um, I, I mean, I bought it when it was 33% off, 19 quid, so I probably will not want to pay any more than 25 quid for this. I'd be very interested to see R&D presets to see how they integrate in. Although I do hear some complaints about performance impacts, but the guys do say there is no real serious performance impact. I, I've actually noticed a performance increase with this one. So, anyway, what does it do though if you've got third party airport add-ons? Does it change them as well? We're going to go to Birmingham and we're going to load up UK2000 the Birmingham Extreme, which is known for me of a performance killer. You know, it takes my frames, so we're going to see what it does to my frames now when we include it. So here we are. This is Birmingham. Um, this is with UK2000 scenery. Uh, let's have a look at the airport here. This is the airport over here with the buildings and on the other side of the runway over here. Textures look fine to be honest. Textures look okay. Um, yeah, I mean this looks like, you know, what it should. Obviously this is UK2000's textures, not all decks. Um, but does it do anything for performance? I've noticed that my frames are jumping between 35 to 60. Um, be interested once in the plane where they go up to but um yeah you see the as i zoom into these buildings they just don't seem to be any better than they were before they look sharper but from a distance they look the same as the others i don't know 
They definitely have the same photographs. They are definitely the same pictures. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get up. Let's see it from the air and activate the night lighting as well. So, 30-ish frames per second, I guess. That's, that's good, because I think I was getting 25 last time, so slight performance increase, I feel, for UK2000. Right, so we're going to do a turn. We're going to turn around and head towards Birmingham. Uh, nice fields. Let's try and slow it down a bit. All in all, is this a product you guys would want to get? If you're running default, if you haven't got Orbex Global, I'd say yes. If you've got Orbex Global and you're running a 4K monitor, you might not see much of a difference. Maybe you will, I don't know. Maybe you'll see more of a difference, actually. Um, I do think it's worth buying just for the nighttime textures alone, but not anything more than 30 quid. Definitely not. I don't think it's justifiable. I think you might as well get R&D presets. You know, if you don't want to spend loads of money, get R&D presets because they'll do the same thing. Um, I'm not too sure if they include night lighting on theirs, but um, it does pretty much the same thing for a fraction of the price. Of course, with Orbex, they're a developing company. RD presets are a couple of guys just starting out. They're probably more inclined for customer satisfaction. Orbex are more sort of, you know, they'll give you support and updates moving forward. Um, but you'll have to go seek that out on the forums. Whereas you're actually speaking to the guys who made it with RD presets. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Um, I've got no buyer's remorse for having it Hello. just for the night light Hello. And Hello. alone. At least now my models have, you know, light, night lighting baked Hello. into them as well, which means it'll look great. Um, let's see here. Let's have a zoom in on these buildings here, in fact. Um, they just look sharper. That's 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 all that it really is. Um, these are, i got 4K textures installed, I've got 4k uh, option ticked, they just look sharper guys, on a 1080p display I don't think there is any difference so, there's the BT tower in fact I'll tell you what, let's um, let's change it to the night time now and let's see what they look like at night Yeah, you can see the buildings there. They come to life. You see them? Oh, yeah. And then they suddenly come on. Um, the buildings there, the buildings there. They all have this night lighting now. That just sort of magically happens. Look at that. If I cancel the, the nighttime time, I bet you any money, all that just disappears. Yeah, look at that. Very sweet, very cool. Right. Well, that's it guys, thanks for watching this. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to get all my videos. Make that bell ring to get notified when I launch. I release videos every Wednesday, every Sunday. And I look forward to doing another first look uh, video for products that are up and coming. And if there's anything you want me to review, a full in-depth review, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if there's somewhere you want me to fly with a particular aircraft, let me know in the comment section below. Um, ooh, that clock. Actually, I... Oh, wow. Well, it's almost dinner time. It's quarter to six. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to it, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.